We think readers will be especially interested in taking a look back at the formation of the independent system operators, which has been about two decades now. Take a look at some of the events uh, from a regulatory and commercial standpoint that led up to that transition. But then we also take a look at the new round of problems that are being faced by the independent system operators today and how to go and address those challenges. When the energy markets were originally formed, the objectives were fairly straightforward. It was to drive down price and maintain reliability. What we see today is we see them faced with challenges when it comes to uh, working with the states and implementing clean uh, energy objectives, having to operate such a decentralized generation fleet now, and then just continuing challenges in attracting investment into generation transmission that's needed to keep these markets operating. There's a lot of attention these days on how to go about accommodating and properly pricing generation resources like nuclear and uh, renewables that have state level subsidies. Uh, but then also be fair to other generation resources without those advantages in structuring these energy markets. Carbon pricing is a solution is, that is being considered by certain states when it comes to, to addressing clean energy objectives. The challenge with carbon pricing is always how. When it comes to running up that hill, what we're saying is that we see the energy markets and our industry in general challenge in a number of areas.